sumo squat, knee drop, so a really nice strengthener for our internal hip rotation while we're in a loaded position. They look really funny, they make me feel like a really weird backup dancer, but they're a great strengthening exercise. For this drill, we're gonna start in a sumo squat, that's feet nice and wide, toes angling out about 45 degrees, hips sinking low, chest lifted as high as you can. From this position, we're gonna lift our heel on one foot so that we can rotate this foot, keeping my hip bones pointing forwards. I'm gonna start to rotate that knee down towards the floor, dropping my thigh forwards, or even turning it internally as much as I can. I'm gonna bring that knee back out to the side, drop the heel, do the same thing on the other side. Lift my feet up, drop my knee down towards the floor, rotating my thigh towards my midline, bring that knee back out to the side, drop the heel. Depending on your flexibility, this might be just bringing that knee forwards a little bit in space. If this is a challenging range of motion, if you have a lot of internal hip rotation, that knee might come down quite a bit, but I wanna make sure those hip bones don't start to rotate to turn this into a lunge. Your challenge is keeping those hip bones facing forwards the whole time, even while that knee is coming towards the floor. So don't let your hip bones move. Rotating your hips is gonna change the stretch. Go as big as you can, but while keeping those hip bones in the same spot. Aim for four to 10 on each leg. If you liked this video and you're looking for more free flexibility training advice, there's a lot more where that came from on my website, where I regularly post blog posts with stretching tips, as well as detailed stretch breakdowns like this video. You can check it out at dannywinksflexibility.com.